guys, welcome back to my channel. And uh, yeah, then <laughs> what? <laughs> Why can I talk? Today I'm doing my monthly favorites. I did not do one last month because I didn't have enough stuff to talk about last month. So now I have a whole bunch of stuff to talk about and I'm really excited about it. So I deeply apologize. I did my makeup today and it is bomb.com and I didn't film it. Um, I will do one a tutorial eventually. I will probably recreate this look. I have on Too Faced Born This Way foundation and even though that foundation is too light for me, I mixed it with my L'Oreal Infallible foundation. Golly, amazing. Like I can't even explain to you guys how amazing this foundation feels on my face. And then I also, oh, I'm just gonna have to do a tutorial because there's a lot going on here that I really need to talk about with you guys. Um, hopefully I can use the exact same products and make it look exactly the same, but I cannot make any promises. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and make this video as short as possible while still managing to mention everything. Um, my hair is mine for once. But I needed to give myself a break from wearing weaves and wigs and things like that because my hair needed some maintenance. So I went and got it. Hi, how are you? Good. So yeah, what was I saying? They were talking about my hair. So yeah, this is my hair. I got it done. I dyed it black so it would look better because the color was making it look dry and nasty. Um, so I had it dyed black and I got a little bit of a cut, not a, like a super cut, but like some trim. It's a few days old. Actually, it's like a week old. My hair's a week old now, so it is stringy. Um, I don't like it, but if it still looks cute, give me a thumbs up for that. Don't you hate when people tell you to do thumbs up for like random things that have nothing to do with the video? First, I'm gonna talk about my app. Before I forget, I wanna talk about my app of the month. So this is the Clue app. It basically just keeps up with your cycle. I love to be in tune with my body. I like to know what's going on. I keep track of everything. I think it's just healthy and normal to do that. It's just important to keep track of what goes in and out of your body, literally and figuratively saying that um, if you have a period, if you want to track your fertility, if you want to track your ovulation, if you want to keep track of your pills that you are taking if you're taking them, whether you are preventing or planning pregnancy or not even doing that, if you just want to keep track of your symptoms for your period so you know when it's coming. So what you can do is you can click here and you can enter your data. So basically for that day, you can put in uh, the consistency of your fluids. You can put in your emotions for that day. So if you're happy, if you're moody, if you're sensitive, whatever, you can put that data in. Any pain that you're having, if you're taking the pill, you can, you know, put that information in there. If you are do doing it, you can put if it was protected or unprotected, cramps, headaches, ovulation, whatever, you can put all that information in there. And it's really helpful because the more data you put in over time, the more accurate the app will be. So it'll let you know when your next period will come, when you're ovulating, um, when you're more fertile, things like that. One thing to remember though, is that this app is not to prevent. So please do not get this app and say, oh yeah, Vicky told me to use this app and you know, I'm gonna keep doing it and not protecting myself. I'm not getting into your personal life or anything, but please do not use this app as means of contraception because that's not what it's for. It's just to help, you know, track your, your stuff. And it tells you everything you need to know about when stuff is supposed to be happening and you can put in the data of what's actually happening um so that when i go to my OBGYN, i'm like hey guess what this happened this month and this happened this month and when was the last time you had your period oh i had my period so and so and so and so and i just think if you're a woman you need to keep track of your body and know what's happening i do personally recommend it it's like my favorite i used to have another app that i used to like but it wasn't as accurate and it wasn't as cool looking i mean this just looks really cool so if you want to try out the clue app link will be in the description box that is my app for the month. My favorites for groceries, let's do that. This is aloe vera gel from Trader Joe's 
And if you guys don't know about aloe vera gel, it's a really great way to moisturize your body naturally. It does have healing properties that can soothe the skin if you do have breakouts on your body or irritation and things like that. And I experience that a lot after I get waxed about maybe a week or two, my hair grows back. And even though it's not as itchy as it used to be, I do experience a little bit of irritation. So I use this um, on my nether regions. I also use this um, on my legs and things like that because I get ingrown sometimes and it causes dark spots and I've heard that aloe vera gel helps to give your skin a more refreshed look and I do see that happening. It hasn't gotten rid of all of my dark spots but it does help to kind of brighten and, and uh, make your skin look more even toned. So anytime I get waxed I slather this all over my body. Almond oil. This is from the health food store. I purchased it to use it as a moisturizer for my skin. What I've noticed is using an oil after you get out of the shower makes your skin so soft. Um, so I do make sure to put this all over my body just so I can have a nice sheen because I like to have shiny skin. I like to use this and then spray on my fragrance and it helps my, my fragrance not only last longer but it amplifies the smell because it doesn't smell like anything. So I appreciate that. Really been liking this. I put this in a travel size container and took it with me to LA this past weekend and I really enjoyed this and my husband really enjoys it as well. Um, recently I've just been really feeling Indian food. I love spices. I love all things spicy and spice-ish. I'm a spice girl. Chicken tikka masala is my favorite Indian dish. Um, and because I don't feel like going to the Indian restaurant all the time and spending all my money on their food, I just get the frozen versions. Um, I try to get these because they're kind of healthy. They're in the gluten-free section, so I feel like, you know, it's good for me. Um, there's no preservatives, no artificial colors, um, no soy. It's uh, pretty good stuff. Like, I eat this every day. I buy like four of these a week and I eat them every single day. <laughs> I love smell goods. I like for my house to smell good, okay? And I was gonna do a home decor haul, but I forgot, so um, I'm just gonna talk about it now. Um, this is pumpkin pecan waffles, gentle foaming hand soap. This is the candle. And then I also have some plugins, and I don't feel like going to get my plugins because they're plugged in, but oh my God, best fall scent ever. And if you don't like pumpkin spice or whatever, that's cool, I'm not mad at you. <sighs> I, like I said, I'm a spice girl, so I love spicy smells. Pumpkin pecan waffles has just the most amazing mix between spice and waffle. Ooh! Mm. Um, and even though I have two plugins and the candle going sometimes, I got the Febreze, um, and this is in Pumpkin Bliss. I really like this one because it just helps to amplify. the smell and I love it. 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 My whole house smells like pumpkin. It is great. It's great. My current all time favorite for like, I guess fashion would be <coughs> right now. I'm really loving Nike Juvenate sneakers. Oh my God. Olive green is like the color for the fall. If you can't tell already. So I bought these in August. And I've been wearing them like every day ever since. With everything, anything, everything. I've been wearing them with bodycon skirts, with jeans, um, shorts, you name it. I literally wear these with everything. These, I can walk in these for 85 hours and my feet will not hurt. Like it feels like a sock. It feels like walking around in a sock. So if you were debating on whether or not you should get these, you should get them. They have a lot of different colors. Love those. I would recommend that you get them. I will have a link in the description box. I have two different hair products that I want to talk about. And this is a Denman brush and this is a Tangle Teaser. I don't remember if this was 20 or not, but this was for sure $20. Both of these are expensive for the fact that they are not regular brushes. These are meant to glide through curly hair easier and quicker and help to detangle. What I like about this one is that one, it comes with a cap thing. I use this one in the shower specifically. This is the one that I use in the shower when I'm shampooing my hair. This one I got from Sephora. When I'm not in the shower, I use this one to style my hair. If I'm going to be doing a natural hairstyle or something, I'll just brush it through and it helps to get any knots and kinks out of my hair before I style. I don't know how to do natural styles though. So, I mean, I don't know why I bought this to use for styling because I don't do a good job of styling my hair, quite honestly. I use this, but not as frequently 
as I use this. So which one I say would you buy depends on how you do your hair. If you have not been following me for a long time, then you don't know how much I love this. But if you haven't followed, I love it better than witch hazel only because I have acne prone skin. Witch hazel helps with acne prone skin, but it's not as, I don't know. I just feel like this was specifically made for me. It's better for oily, acne prone skin. It helps to mattify the skin and it also helps to get rid of that excess sebum so you're not breaking out as much. It just has this really nice tea tree smell to it. And Ulta has a current sale going on on everything the body shop. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description box because I was on Ulta the other day and they have a whole skincare set of all of the tea tree stuff for $30, guys. $30. If you wanted to try this stuff, it's amazing. I would suggest you go get it because I've been using this for years, off and on. Every time I run out, I'm just like, I'll go to something else and then I'll come back to this like, why did I let you go? Face wash. This is the glycolic foaming cleanser. I had a smaller travel size version, but I went ahead and bought the full size because it is bae. Thank you to my friend Taylor for telling me to go get it because girl, this is literally the most amazing face wash I've ever used. Like, oh my gosh. I know I say that about a lot of things, but I mean it this time. And I knew it was going to be great because it had glycolic acid in it. And if you don't know about glycolic acid, it's a really good alpha hydroxy acid and it just helps it just just know that it helps if you have acne prone skin. This is good for all skin types. Don't use it every day if you have dry skin. I would suggest using it every other day, but I use it every day because I have oily skin and it helps to combat my oil. My diet is what really makes a difference. And I, if you want me to make, if you guys want me to make a video talking about my diet and talking about what I eat now and how I eat, I'm trying to eat. I will make a video about that. But as far as skincare goes. This is the best thing that I could be using on my face right now. In conjunction with my Foreo, it's just like... Mm. I got this Glam Glow Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. This is a mask that you can put on your face if you want to clear, uh, clear out your skin. It does burn a little bit, I will say. Not a fan of the smell. It's really fruity. It smells really, it smells like rotten fruit actually to me. And I don't know, it's not the best smell, but it does work pretty well. Um, it actually really does help to clear out your skin. It, my skin felt so clean. I really do like this. I like the super mud better, but this is a good one too. Last skincare product is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Cream. The cream. I have talked about the Hydra Boost Water Gel. This is for extra dry skin, but I find that using it at nighttime kind of just makes my skin feel so soft and supple when I wake up in the morning. And it has a different consistency. As you can see, this one's a little more white and the other one is a lot more clear. I love it. It, it makes my skin feel so good. Oh my goodness. Shout out to Cover FX. Cover FX hit me up and was like, hey, we really liked your video about the Cover FX custom cover drops. We're gonna send you some more stuff. So they sent me some more stuff. And I love Cover FX. I really do because they have a huge range of, of shades for darker skin tones, which is a huge deal to me because a lot of brands still haven't caught on to the fact, you know, brown skin women. We wear makeup. Like, we, we wear makeup, guys. We're not just red and yellow. I mean, there's like some olives in there, some mixed tones, some neutrals. I mean, can we get some more shades? So Cover Effects recently just dropped a couple more, not a couple more, I think they have 40 shades now. Um, and they have more of a larger range of shades for deeper skin tones. I have these two compacts here. This one is the Total Cover Cream Foundation. And oh my God, it is a amazing i've never used a cream foundation that looks this good only thing is that if you do have dry patches or textured skin you want to make sure you prime good if you use a brush it'll kind of cling to it but i've learned that using a beauty blender helps to blend it out a lot better really really great i love it they also sent me the powder to go along with it and this is just their uh, mineral compact powder it smells like tea green tea is that weird both of these are in the shade g80 which is my perfect shade and you guys know i love the mattifying primer but this is the illuminating primer oh my goodness my goodness my goodness my goodness one thing i love about it is that it's not thick and creamy you know how some illuminating products are really thick and creamy so they make your skin dewy but if you have oily skin and you just want some illumination that sucks because you don't want like thick 
creamy product on your face and you're oily because then it'll just make you look like a big grease ball so it just gives you a brightness it doesn't necessarily make you dewy it illuminates so even though that is the case I do not put it all over my face I try to just put it in the places that I'm going to highlight later so it kind of just amplifies my highlight and as you can see highlight on fleek this is one of these finds that people told you about and it took you forever to get to it but then once you tried it you're like holy cannoli why have I not tried this before this is the elf contouring blush and bronzer powder in Turks and Caicos it looks just like the NARS blush duo this bronzer is amazing I have it all over my face today like I literally get my brush and just bronze my entire face. Best bronzer ever. I don't like contouring anymore, but I do like to have some color, you know, just around my face. Like I don't want to contour, but I don't want to just leave my face bare. So I wanted a bronzer that was like really good for my skin tone and this one, and it was only $3. Like you cannot go wrong with a $3 bronzer and blush. Like you just can't. This is ColourPop's ultra matte lippies and I have more of these that I'm going to be swatching for you in a video soon so stay tuned for that these are the two that I really love the most right now this is limbo and LAX I love both of these I get so many compliments when I wear them and they are amazing they last all day they don't flake they don't crust up and they are kiss proof baby <laughs> this is Laura Geller's gilded honey gelato swirl baked illuminator out of all the products that I've talked about today this has to be one of the most orgasmic product that I own. <laughs> I've been using this nonstop since I bought it for about two months and it is literally heaven on earth in a pan. Oh my God. Um, and there's so many people that told me about this and I, I just didn't hop on the bandwagon right away. I was like, I need to give it some time. But once I finally got there, it stole my heart. It stole my heart. I feel the same way about this that I do about sea salt caramel talenti. I die a little every time I put this on. It goes on the best with a beauty blender. Like, this with a beauty blender is literally magic. I have it on today. It's just an amazing highlight. And you know what? I wasn't gonna do this, but can we just talk about sea salt caramel talenti for a second? Like, can we just talk about the amazingness that is this jar of ice cream? As soon as I put it in my mouth, I was like, that sounds gross, Vicky. Pause. I cried. It hurt my feelings. Like, I was disappointed in life. I was like, I cannot believe that I've gone this long without trying this and I cannot believe that it's so disrespectful enough to make me cry. Like this is the only ice cream on the planet that has ever made me feel like this and I can only have one bite a day because I will eat this whole thing if I keep going. Oh my god. <laughs> it hurts. I'm about to cry because it hurts my feelings. Oh my god. This is amazing. This is an amazing ice cream and if you never try another ice cream in your life, you need to go get it because it is literally amazing. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did give me a thumbs up, be sure to check the description box for all of the links and information that you need. If you would like to know what's on my face or what I'm wearing, all of that information will be in the description box. A lot of you guys ask me questions about what I wear and stuff like that. It's always in the description box, guys. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, okay?